Revenge, the original reference is very horizontal and obviously this is vertical. So something as simple as that can seriously change everything. So I was kind of looking at it and trying to decide, okay, do I need everything in the background in the other image to stabilize my Plotting in some of these strong uh, 
pushing her chest out a little and I noticed that the hair, as I pushed out the hair, I needed to push out the chest because it's like vertically aligned and then the hand needs to be moved over because of that. And so like that doesn't mean you messed up, that's part of the process of finding the right thing with the painting. So you can't beat up on yourself throughout the painting process, okay? Like you're not gonna get anywhere and it's just gonna frustrate you. And it's like that in life. Like, imagine if you were learning to drive and you, you know, every time you made suspicious moves, and it was like, oh my god. And that actually involves your life. Like, painting, there's no real risk, so just like, be free.
basically like tells you everything you need to know about speed traps, camera lights, like distance, all of that. right 
brush strokes per se right then, it's gonna get you further into your painting process than like kind of dancing around the way you need to be painting, if that makes sense. Like stalling around the important things. And like if you're a painter or if you have done anything like this, hopefully you know what I'm saying. Crossing my fingers. I think there's a lot of people who 
is dry literally make some art and yeah I mean even the best of artists are arguably bad artists to some people so it's not about being a good artist I mean if it was that's I would have quit already and that might be why some people just don't continue it because they don't they can't stand the thought of being bad at something but you have to become a bad artist you have to be willing at least to be a bad artist to ever be a good artist and, but like you have to be willing to be a bad artist it's important because it along the way you'll make good art but you'll also make bad art but that doesn't mean that you are doesn't mean that you're like unlovable it might mean that yeah that art piece sucks but like it's not you you are not your art it's not I mean it is an extension of you in a way but it's not like it's your child and I have to say this to myself I'm talking to myself because it feels like that like if someone goes oh I don't like that it doesn't look good it's not my thing I don't like your art it's lifeless it's emotionless like whatever they could say like I have to take that as feedback and as, you know, information and evaluate it and think about, okay, what if this can I use? What if this do I disagree with? Like, maybe writing it down um, helps depending on the situation because, like, you can become a better artist from negative feedback, but you're also allowed to disagree if somebody says, like, oh, X, Y, Z like if you just fully disagree with them like great that's the beauty of art like everyone can gets to have their own opinion on it and you really can't even argue it that much because ultimately that's all it is you can't like argue someone's opinion you can tell me all day long that you like the color blue and if I'm fully convinced that pink is a better color like what's the point in having this conversation <laughs> Like, go 
going full out on it, you know? So it's important to, like, be open to your desires, even though sometimes having a desire that's unfulfilled is painful. It's strong to, like, be open to an unfulfilled desire, but it's important if you ever are going to live, like, a life that feels fulfilled, that feels like you're actually getting your needs met or doing what you feel like you're on this earth meant to do, but, like, you have to get in touch with that. And then make steps. Choose your heart. Choose the heart that is in alignment with where you're going. So, yeah. It's, it's my best advice for today. That'll be $50, please. <laughs>
yet, but it's on the right track, and that's really all I want for this, like, stage in the painting. I think everyone wants, of course, that we all want a nice, pretty, finished painting, right? But, like, you have to embrace every step of the way, because that is what painting is all about. It's about bringing it from A to Z. And it's all right if it doesn't happen, like, immediately. Like, that's what AI does. Like, that's why it's not AI. That's why it's an artwork made by a human, you know? And, you know, I appreciate AI as a tool. Um, just like Photoshop as a tool. Just like, you know, anything that we use. But that isn't the art itself, and I think we, we can all agree on that. Um, it's a great way to find source material or reference imagery. And I, I think it off opens up exciting possibilities. I don't hate it. I'm an open-minded person. I use um, AI technology to generate ideas. And, all of that, but it's never going to be art in and of itself. It just can't be, you know, like, that's not what it is. Like, art requires human experience. That's what makes it art. I mean, it requires humanity. It requires somebody who has experienced childhood, who has experienced loss. Like, that's where the best art comes from. You have to be intelligent enough and experienced enough to actually have experienced that and your own unique perspective is the art. It's not how exact it looks like something else. It's not all of those other things. It's your perspective. Yeah. Wow. 
this feels a little squished. Hang on. I'm adding in the mountains. They're bluish purple. But they're also super, like, hazy. They're like a light.
else, but it, you know, stars and snowflakes look similarly. I think once it dries, I'll be able to add more articulate shape and whatnot, but for now, on her nose and on this side of her face because it's cold outside so we want her to feel that with the coloring All right now I'm seeing where her hand kind of lights up with the new structure Messing it up to fix it. It's important to do that. 
so that's not bad though. I kind of like that. Sometimes I do mess up, you can like wipe it away. Don't worry about like how you get there. Just kind of get there and try. Like unusual tactics. Like you don't need to mentally be able to regurgitate and record every step of the way. And I know that might sound obvious, but when you're painting, sometimes we feel like we have to quantify what we're doing somehow or like make it make sense in a logical way when sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it's literally just you rub it the right way, the colors, and for some reason it looks good and just capture it, you know, because every single problem you solve within the painting you only need to solve once if that makes sense like it doesn't need to be as duplicatable seeing for everyone to do like you can trust your steps are the right steps to take, is what I'm trying to say, and like, you don't need to know in a logical way every single thing that you're doing, your body knows it, like, painting is a physical thing, you can't think your way into a painting, you have to make it, you just go in and you paint and you figure it out as you go, you can't really sit there and, and
YouTube never notified me about your videos. Good thing I searched my history and found you again. The bring stocks. I need to more. Glad you found me. Maybe whenever I change my name from Sugar Beggars to Quiet Creative, you got confused. Rightfully so, but I'm glad I changed it. Love this video for several reasons. Love your mouth sounds, but your storytelling skills are very appealing. I'd love for you to do one with telling a story, comforting your boyfriend, or speaking of yourself would be pretty damn good. I'd love to know what type of things you'd like and enjoy why, why you got into ASMR. So I like art, walking my dog, hanging out with friends. I love food, good food, vegan, vegetarian, not necessarily vegan, sometimes vegan. Um, I love a good movie. Uh, I like to travel. I like gifts. So. <laughs> uh, I love music. I love art, obviously. And it. I got into ASMR because my um, ex and I, when we went through our dramatic divorce, I needed something to help me get to sleep. I started listening to Gentle Whispering ASMR and I got hooked. And my friend who I was living with at the time during the separation introduced me to ASMR who was Gentle Whispering and I've been doing it ever since. I was like, oh, it helped me get to sleep and then I got creative with it. And yeah, it was, it's good. Hmm. Anyways, that's from David Drove. God, I look amazing. Thank you. Um. <sighs> I'm finding something. Did you change your channel name? Bad Drock XXX. Good question. I changed it several months ago, but I wasn't uploading videos for a while. But I just decided to do a name that fits me better. Um, whenever I came up with the name Sugar Burgers, I created my Instagram and TikTok with that name. And I do like satisfying videos on there. And I also created my YouTube. And the YouTube kind of took on a life of its own, doing like ASMR through art and me in the frame rather than like satisfying videos so I decided to just change this to quiet creative ASMR because that's what I'm doing. I'm doing more like quiet creative ASMR. <laughs> so uh, I thought it was more me and more like it helps people know who I am, what you're here for, and then I'm keeping my Instagram with satisfying content, sugar bookers, as well as my TikTok sugar underscore boogers with the seed took them out. I'll put it all in my links. But yeah, so I just wanted to update it to match what this channel has become, basically. Um, I'm a musician. Also, the sounds you got from that jar with the water in it, that delay added was really unique sounding would be good for fully, for fully sound design for an abstract film project. Thanks for your vids, truly are relaxing. Cheers from Texas. Stephen Dole, Les Santos, 93.91. Me and my friend capped a couple sucks of your vid and then went and then we faded, blended your face into those mic covers. Ah, that's funny. Put it in Discord. The perfect day is my video. Thank you, thank you. Alright, well, if you guys end up asking me any questions in the comments, I will try to answer it in my next video like you did today. And just go through and answer some of my favorite um, comments. I'm going to keep working on this.
first painting. <laughs> that was only. I need to um, okay, just, just stay focused. I'm telling you, flipping it upside down.
falsity. I can't explain it. It's feeling way more falsity. <sighs> I mean, me and my family have been through a lot, and so like the fact that this movie is about sisters who are there for each other, like there's like some competition between them, and like you know, there's some rivalry. There's some you know, different, like, paths that they take, and, but there's, like, so much love and care, and I feel like that it's just, it kind of reminds me of my sister, and, like, now we're in a really good place, but I think, you know, growing up through the, like, puberty area, er era, and, like, through the, um, just, you know, growing up, there, there will always be people who kind of, like, compare you, and that's annoying and hurtful because nobody wants to be compared, like, to somebody else. They want to be their own person. They want to, yeah, to, like, now that I'm an adult and my siblings are an adult, it's nice to start over, you know, like, it's just nice to give each other another chance to be a human, not, like, just a kid, you know, and, like, if you know that kids aren't human, but we all carry some baggage from our childhood.
shape. Otherwise, it's just gonna feel way too busy. And that, that's good. Um,
I'll be offering prints on my website as well as prints of a bunch of other stuff. So check it out. Check, 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 check it out. The prints of my other stuff as, as well. <laughs> uh, Alright, I'm gonna go eat some pizza.